Today is our last day in our chat with the Chief Series, and uh, we've been having a lot of fun with AISD Police Chief Eric Mendez here answering not only our questions, Chief, but answering um, our viewers' questions, and we appreciate that. Uh, it, was, it was pretty interesting to see some of the questions that came across, and, and it was also kind of cool that none of the questions were the same topic. They yeah. were various topics. Uh, let's take a look at some of those topics that you were talking about. You talked about everything from bullying, um, drug enforcement, truancy, and how you're working with some other police departments as well. Um, one interesting topic was the um, the school marshal topic mm -hmm. and about how is that going to affect AISD at all? Well, um, I've had conversations with many yes. chiefs of police across the state and uh, there's over 170 school district police departments in the state of Texas. Not many people realize there's so many, but there are. And most departments, most larger departments, uh, are not considering school marshals uh, because they have a police department in place and they already have officers assigned to school campuses. We have two officers at every high school, we have one at every middle school, and then I have a designated patrol just for the elementaries. Yeah. And so it's not feasible, it doesn't appear to be feasible to have school marshals. And most of the, the school districts across the state kind of feel the same way. If they have a, you know, Dallas ISD, Fort Bend ISD, San Antonio ISD, Houston ISD, they're kind of not looking at school marshals. Okay. Uh, I think really uh, the purpose of the law and the districts that it's helping are those rural districts that don't have don't immediate have uh, help close by. Right. And so uh, we haven't experienced any school marshals. Uh, the districts I've talked to and the chiefs I've talked to across the state haven't either. And so it's just kind of seeing how it's going to go. Okay, but you don't think that we need them here in AISD? No, I think that um, the way we're set up and the way that we work with our with our campuses and and I think there is somewhat of a benefit uh, for large high schools and large middle schools to have a visible presence, uh, a uniformed officer that the students know who they are, who do they go to for help. And so I think that kind of helps out. Uh, again, I think that the law and its intent uh, for those rural districts that are out in the middle of nowhere that they really don't have an immediate response for law enforcement in the in the event of a crisis. There's right. someone there to help. Uh, in, in our district and in our city, we have immediate response capabilities uh, from us, from the Austin Police Department, from the Sheriff's Department, from the constables and DPS and everybody Multi -agencies. else. Multi-agencies. I mean, there's so many agencies in the Austin area that would respond in the event of a crisis like that that I think that we would, uh, we, we're, we're better served the way we are. Gotcha. Okay, let's talk about your goals for the future of the AISD Police Department. What would you like to see in 2015? Wow. Uh, <laughs> you know, we, we've come a long way. Uh, I got here at the School District Police Department in 1999, and we really expanded over the years since That's 1999. Right. Uh, I, in my time at the school district, I've seen us open over 23 schools. Uh, I'm sure we're going to open more as the district continues to grow and shift and the populations shift. Uh, uh, I see a greater need, um, and, and law enforcement has changed in school policing as well. We went from, you know, uh, from issuing citations to being the first line of defense for for offenses to we're shifting to understanding that um, school issues need to be handled at the administrative level first that we're a last resort uh, we're there for the safety and security of the students but we're also an educational component uh, I push really hard for our officers to get out and teach during the day uh, every SRO, every school resource officer at a campus is required to do a minimum of four educational presentations a year. Oh, wow. Uh, we also teach the gang resistance education and training, the great program to our fifth and sixth grade students, so we teach that. Uh, and then we also provide presentations and educational presentations for community organizations, for parent groups, for our staff. And so I think last year we, we uh, reached over 16,000 uh, 16, students doing educational presentations. That's amazing. Chief Mendez, I appreciate your time. As always, come back and see us and talk about some of the other goals and the initiatives that you're putting in when it comes to uh, keeping our kids safe. Would love to. Thank right. you for having me. Thank you for your long day. I know it's going to be a busy day. <laughs>